Hey guys, my name is Aj. Welcome to my channel. This is Ajtoberfest. I am nervous. That's what I am. So this is my first ever studio vlog on my channel. On my Instagram, I do like reels every couple days and I kind of show my artistic process and a little bit behind the scenes of me running my Etsy shop. I've been an Etsy shop owner for literally like a month as of today. This is my first month in the biz and it has been a ride has been very interesting there's been many a failure like i feel like when i watch studio vlogs everything is so like smooth perfect like everything is cutting chef kiss and you know the mail is going out easy peasy no issue because that's the way i like to live my life i feel like everything's gonna be fine and that has just like not been my experience um, there's been bumps on the road, but I've also learned so much. It's been something I wanted to share, like my studio vlogs for a long time. But honestly, for a long time, I felt like studio vlogs had a certain kind of vibe. And I wasn't sure if I fit in that like space with my channel. When I was trying to make studio vlogs and other people's styles, it wasn't working for me. So I threw all that out the window. You're going to get authentic October Co. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you feel free to check out my Etsy, the link is down below. Feel free to check out my art Instagram at Aj the Artist. And we're just gonna be going through a regular day. So see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, so now I'm up here in the voiceover. And right here I'm using my daily goals planner, something that I make and I have available in my Etsy shop. So I like to use this planner in the morning to really help design my day and map out everything I need to get done. I use a schedule, daily goals. I write something at the end of the day. It's like something amazing that I did. And I just think it's really cute and positive. And I write what's coming next to make sure that for the next day, I know what I should have accomplished or like what's on, what's on the chopping block for the day. So I make sure to write everything in and a little bit of self care. Cause I will really sit here and draw all day, forget to walk. So of course I write, do a little jump rope in, watercolor for you, drink some water, and then I'm ready to go. So I always wake up really early because I do have a regular job and I have to make sure I get some art in before I go to work so I just don't feel behind. And the next thing I do after getting a little drawing in is I go and I read all my emails and I watch a little bit of Pretty Little Liars and I try to make sure I'm not missing any promotional deals, working with other people and with paper products. Sometimes you want to know if I can get postcards for cheaper, if I can get my thank you cards for cheaper. I always make sure to do that first thing in the morning. So really quickly, we're gonna do some sticker comparisons. This is a sticker that I designed. It's inspired by Pretzel Day from The Office. Remember that like secret pretzel that Michael ordered we never got to see? Well, here it is. Um, and I made that in my house by myself with my printer and my sticker paper. And it's shiny and waterproof and sturdy. This one is from Sticker Mule. And Sticker Mule is okay, but that shine isn't really there for me. And I don't love the shine. Like it's, it's lacking there, but like the colors look great and they came in three days and I live in New York, which is pretty, pretty quick. Last but not least, I have sticker app and this sticker looks awesome. Like this one looks good. And the other one, they also have really excellent hologram stickers, but I just got a batch of stickers from them that was crap. So like it really, it, it, it changes each time. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not so great. So just make sure you do your research to see what is best, easiest and most cost effective for you. But honestly, I've had my issues with both companies. And so now for 99% of my stickers, I make them in-house rather than outsourcing. And once I figure out how to do holographic stickers by myself, it's really over for them. I'm never going to order from anyone else again. And here I am making my spooky, sweet sticker sheet. These are some planner stickers. And they're really cute. They're inspired by like if a witch had a coffee shop and all of the like little cute like cappuccinos and teas and muffins and cupcakes and PSLs came to life. That's what this is. So it has marshmallows. I think it has like 28 stickers. It's really cute. I got a lot of compliments on their little like their little faces and people are liking them. So I really appreciate that. Um, Halloween is my favorite like October. Like the Tober is October. My last name is not Tober. Um, so October is just like my favorite time of year. I have a lot of Halloween and spooky season stickers available. So if you're interested in that, like, please check them out. And if you're not a Halloween person, like, listen, I got you. Christmas is right around the corner. So be prepared. If you're a Christmas person, I got you. If you're a Halloween person, I've always had you. And we're already best friends. So let me stop talking.
Honestly, printing these sticker sheets, I've never used the fast mode on Cricut, but I should give it a try because this took forever. But I'm peeling off my sticker sheet finally. And it looks really great on this side. The gloss, that shine, the stickers look adorable. They cut well. And it also looks great on this side. I printed double-sided by accident. But what's life without mistakes? Right here is my time lapse of the postcard I made that's gonna go inside all of my October and until I change it orders. I just need to want I just wanted like a little bit of extra sturdiness, even if you're getting like one sticker, to create your own sunshine and they can use it as like a little piece of art they can keep. It's really cute. Cute little postcard for your desk. And my Auntie Dorothy, thank you, Auntie Dorothy, sent me this cake. I took it as a congratulations on beginning your business venture and becoming an entrepreneur. It was probably just a cake, just, just for cake's sake, but I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. And it was really good. It's from Milk Bar. It has these little like crumblies on top. Super good cake. Something kind of unusual I like to do is, I always add in a freebie with all my stickers. It's just something that happens. But I also like to add in freebies if I know something about the person who's ordering. So I designed the sticker sheet and I wasn't really sure if I should put it on the website. But we have a friend that has ordered a couple times who's a teacher. So I decided to send these over with her. She doesn't know they're coming. So hopefully she doesn't see this video beforehand. But um, so it's something cute for her. And, she's, and I guess she'll tell me if she likes it or if she's cute or whatever she thinks about it. And right here are some of my favorite new stickers. These are my witches. They're, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. Black Sanderson sisters, here we are. If they were black and young, that means they stole those children, but it's fine. I'm gonna stop talking so you guys can have a nice little packing montage moment. But all the things I just said are gonna be available on my Etsy at some point. Um, if you're interested, check over there. If you're not interested, keep watching. No, oh fuck, okay. That piece is like destroyed.
crafty in packaging, so why not? I promise to link all the materials that I used to make this little PR package down below. I got this vinyl from Amazon and it was like $15. I was like, damn, it's expensive for vinyl, but I'm so glad I got it. It had such cool stuff in there. Like I've never seen some of these kinds of like textures and like vinyl vibes. And honestly, for the price, I think this would go on like cups and stuff too. So if you have a Cricut or you use vinyl for other stuff, like highly recommend. And it came with these two sheets of like super high quality and perfect transfer paper. Really loved that. So I'm gonna stop talking so you can watch me put it together and hear the little like backup sounds and little music. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Making this gift was so much fun and something really nice to do because we couldn't be together because COVID. So this was like the best option I could think of. And so I added some gummy bears and Sour Patch Kids and peppermint tea because we're Jamaican. And she really likes these payday candies, even though they're super gross, but she likes them. So I made sure to add those in there and a little bit of stuff she likes and some stuff I like. I added some... Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses and a Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette and then some more paydays and there's some other stuff I added like a Panera gift card oh and this notebook for her to write down all her ideas and to journal and she can use my stickers in there and I definitely added some stickers in there so it was just like a good little bunch of stuff so I hope she I think she really enjoyed it and it was such a cute gift and it was so fun and easy that I wanted to do because my birthday's coming up and I'm a person that struggles with depression is I wanted to have something that was essentially a fundraiser it's actually not essentially it's a fundraiser so I wanted to have something that that incorporated mental health and my artwork onto one in a really beautiful way I work with an art nonprofit however this isn't with them this is just something I want to do for myself and it's really essentially a birthday gift to myself me giving back to other people I'm gonna be selling hard enamel pins. Proceeds from this pen will be going to mental health based and suicide prevention organizations. So if you have any that you think would be great to donate to, please link them down below. I have a couple in mind, but maybe there's some that I haven't heard about. So I really wanted to be able to help people in that way. And I'm just so excited. I think it's going to be really great and really beautiful. So if you're interested in that, please follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel because this is not the last you'll be seeing me doing the studio vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching my first ever studio vlog. It means the world to me to get to share my art with you. 
I hope you guys enjoyed and come back again for my next one. Um, if you order something from my Etsy, please let me know that you're from YouTube in the comments so I can leave a special sticker in there for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. I ended my day at my grandma's house eating dinner outside. So it was her birthday. So happy birthday, grandma. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Pin design to be released very soon. Is your grandmother okay? I mean, she ain't moving. Yeah, watch this. Turn that back on. I was watching that. Yeah. That's gonna leave a mark.